everybody! Happy April Fools! Although there isn't anything I can fool you with except to try a new and possibly unexpected series! Yay! Probably the most pointless thing I've done on this channel apart from two farting cubes which... I'll shut up. Pokebotany, to put it simply, is a new series about extinct plants and fungi. I thought it would be a good idea to look outside the fauna and look into the flora. And yes, I'm aware fungi are not plants, but I feel they can work with the series. So, let's start the first ever video in this series. The first ever plant to feature in this series is a flower, with what I find to be a very gothic name, the Cry Violet. These flowers were first discovered in the limestone hills in the Cry region, Tonnier in north central France in 1860. It was then described as an independent species in 1878 by Francois Xavier Guillot. I really hope I got it right because I do like speaking in a French accent. <laughs> the flowers featured thick, light green leaves and light violet flowers. They bloomed from May to June and preferred to be in the warm sun. However, due to both habitat destruction from excessive limestone quarrying and overharvesting by plant collectors, the cry violet went extinct in 1930 in the wild, and despite the efforts of raising them in captivity, those two died, making them officially extinct in 1950. I chose this flower for its gothic name, beautiful petals, and as a fairly recently extinct plant. So, let's see what this weeping pansy would look like as a Pokemon. Unlike the Jotonian counterparts, these variants can easily become sad. Also, they are more active at night, basking in the moonlight. Yep, I have done it again, although I used a less popular Pokemon, Sunkern. Yes, Sunkern and its evolution, Sunflora, are very unpopular simply because of uh, well, Sunflora. Sunflora is just a very lazy design, could have been much more amazing. I think that deserves evolution. Just saying. And with its stats and typing, it's... It's not great. Special attack's good, but that's it. Despite that, I do prefer Sunkern. It is cute, has a simple but interesting design, and I think it could evolve into anything. This particular variant is more depressed with a bud instead of a sapling on its head. And it really looks like it could do with a hug. Oh, I wish I had hugging arms instead of these cross arms. The stats, like the Johto Sunken, its stats are abysmal. It has good abilities, including a new hidden ability, Night Owl, which can be great if Sunken can pull it off, but it is unlikely due to its terrible stats. So, what would this sun kern evolve into? Lunan Vern are nocturnal predators, slowly stalking its prey until it suffocates them with its hexed spores. Unlike sun kern, it is easy to make these Pokemon laugh, preferring the classic jokes. Not only did sun kern become cool again, hopefully, but we now have a Grass Dragon Pokemon that isn't a Mega. Look at you, Sceptile. I love you, but you don't keep the dragon long, do you? Well, this guy keeps it. For this design, I have taken influence from the Roman goddess, Luna, and the French serpentine wyvern, the Grivir. This helps solidify its design as not only a counterpart to Sunflora, because Sunflora is a sunny sandflower, but a successor to the Sunkern family. For stats, Lunanvern has amazing special attack, good special defense and physical attack, average speed but vulnerable when it's physical defense. For abilities, Lunanvern has more new abilities, all surrounding a new terrain. Here we terrain. The regular abilities are the same as Colorful and Solar Power, but Lunavern has a new ability called Possessed. It is amazing as it gives two immunities, stamp for ghost moves, and is able to take advantage of Curse and Eerie Terrain. For moves, it learns Eerie Terrain when it evolves. Other than that, it has access to special Grass, Dragon, Ghost, Dark, and even Fairy moves. 
but it can also heal itself or cause status conditions such as paralysis. Eerie Terrain is unique, being able to take advantage of the sun and take it away from any Pokemon using it. It can power up dark and ghost moves while weakening fairy, fire and electric moves. Pokemon that have abilities or moves that take advantage of the sun will have their effects turn on them. For example, Pokemon that use Synthesis takes damage instead of healing, and Pokemon with Chlorophyll will have their speed halved instead of doubled. It is immensely powerful, but only works while the sun is out. What do you think? Is it overpowered, or do you think it's what Sunken deserves? The thing for counters I can think on top of my head are very fast physical attackers, especially ice types such as Weavile. Ghost types like Gengar, um, there's also Zorark. Yeah, so while this Pokemon is very powerful, it can be easily taken out. Also, because all of its abilities depend on Eerie Terrain, well, Pokemon that can summon Rain or Hail or Sandstorm can easily negate it. Also, setting up another, another terrain, I think, negates it. Do, do they? Do terrains negate each other? I can't remember. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I know. Here are their shinies. Not as drastic as I usually would make them, but they still look good. Sunkern has a navy blue while Lunavern has a deep blue with their petals. The rest of the colours are more subtle. What do you guys think of them? I am recording the ending at the same time as all the other scenes before this, as I wanted to get this up before, well, get this up on April the 1st. Not really much of an April Fool's, but definitely an unexpected surprise, no? Anyway, this does mean the series, Poke Botany, has finally started and is now part of Pokemon Creations. So, very unlikely anyone would actually know, but what kind of plants would you like to see next in the series? Remember, they have to be extinct. Doesn't matter if it's extinct in the wild, I'm okay with that, but they do have to be quite sparse. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. I mean, you could just be vague to say, I want to see a tree. I want to see more flowers. I want to see a mushroom. Thick as a tree! Alright, so thank you for watching this video. In the past, present, or even future, I will see you there. Goodbye!